Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and here I show you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials to create amazing results. Today I want to show you how you can mask out, uh, in this case, this woman here with Topaz Remask 4. Topaz Remask is a pretty amazing program to mask something out pretty easy. And I do this tutorial in preparation of a bigger tutorial, an upcoming tutorial. So uh, it's okay if you have Topaz Remask. If not, you have to do it in the classic way. But <coughs> I think Topaz Remask is an affordable tool which you can buy for really cheap uh, in comparison what it does and how much time it saves. Okay, now I'm going to delete this layer here. I'm going to make this visible and then I'm going to filter Topaz Labs Topaz Remask 4 and it takes a moment. <coughs> then you have this uh, start screen here. You can skip this and we have three brushes to work with. A green one, a red one and a blue one. The green one is the keeping brush, the red one is the cut brush and the blue one is the compute brush. And what I want to do, I want to show you two methods. The first method is this one. You fill all up with blue and then I'm going with the cut brush. I'm going just with a few streaks or lines. I'm going around whatever I want to cut out, something like that, like stitches. And with the green one, I'm going to mark with uh, streaks like that, whatever I want to keep. In this case, this beautiful woman here. Let's go around like you stitch something together, maybe here another one. <coughs> and then we are going to compute the mask. This is one method I have seen a few days ago and I cannot believe how good this works. Normally it's a total, totally other workflow here. Well, not totally other workflow, it's another workflow. And as you can see, Topaz 4 has done a pretty good job right now. And to make this better, the selection, we have now the, if you have some views, we have the original, the tri map, where you uh, put these three brushes or three fill methods in. Then we have the mask. Yeah, you can see what is masked out. Then we have the keep map. Uh, the keep view and we have the cut view. I want to work right now with the mask view. Here you can split your screen in two uh, views. You can go with the keep and here with the mask or vice versa. With the keep here and the mask here. Whatever you prefer. In my case I prefer to look at two images so I did that I can see what I'm doing. <coughs> it's, uh, in this case it's not so important but if you have some difficult cases um, like in my previous tutorial the Dark Queen to cut out the, the woman in this, um, in this scenario it's much more difficult because there are much more darker parts. The difference between the background and the foreground model in this case is not so um, widespread. Uh, like here, here it's a really uh, seeable uh, difference between these uh, two color colors here. Okay, let's move on and let's go with the cut brush. I just click in there and then I see what Topaz is doing. It computes always here on the button. It takes a lot of uh, system um, capacity on the processor so um, if you have a lot 
files open in the background or a browser like me, it's a good idea to close them. And yeah, th then it topaz is much faster. So now I'm going to make a line here and another and just go just going around the model and let's see what topaz is doing and does a real good job as you can see and with the space bar you can get this little hand and you can move the model around and as you can see on the hairs it's a real real cool job but topaz has done you never get this uh, precise result in this short time okay now I'm going to stack here one time and here and Topaz is calculating while I'm doing my catch up here like that <coughs> And now I'm going to the keep brush and I'm going into the white and I'm going to make you some some uh, fill fill ups here by just painting in so that Topaz is knowing that this is a color we want to keep. And it's okay if the shadow here on the bottom is a little bit present because we need this shadow. So it doesn't matter if the here is a little bit of transparency in this part of this shadow is not gone totally. So for me it's okay like this. But here on the knees it's not okay. You can as well you can work here on this area. You can paint here on this side don't see uh, the mask but uh, it works as well so you can always work on on this side or on this side it doesn't matter okay and now I have I think I'm finished here it's not perfect but uh, we can work more on this but this is one method and the second method is you I delete this image here and again to Topaz Remask and now I'm going with the classic method oh, this is the method uh, in most tutorials are shown um, I'm going with the compute brush I'm going to make a selection around the model here on the edges so Topaz is knowing where Topaz has to compute the model or the, the the edge between the cut and the keep. So I'm going around just like this with a small brush and where the hairs are you have to make a little bit more of a computing area here like that and where the edges are clear, <coughs> you can go with the with the line. Maybe here a little bit more to get all the hairs like that. Then I'm going to have the fill tool to the red one, and I'm going to fill this area with red. And then I'm going to compute the mask. And now Thomas is knowing what really not to keep and what to keep. Uh, what to, to to yeah what to keep and where you where to compute and as you can see it's nearly the same result it's a little bit better here on the on the button here and on the hairs here we have we don't have this gray area here but here on the foot it's the same thing so we have to work on this as well again just go over the parts I don't want to have and over the parts I want to keep like that 
it's a little bit faster <coughs> you have to um, find out for yourself which method is better for you the first method with the stitches or this method both of these methods are working well and we can click OK and there we are this is the before and this is the after thanks for watching bye Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.